Right now, I'm gonna give you three principles that can place you at the helm so that you can steer the course of your life, especially when times are tough. Principle number one, you need to know without a doubt that you are the creator of your success and happiness. Now, what that really means is, it's not what happens to you that determines how successful or how happy you're going to be. It's what you do about what happens. It's the choices that you make. It's the thoughts that you have and the words that you speak out loud that will really make the difference. Principle number two, you need to know that you are the only problem that you will ever have and somewhere within you there is always a solution waiting to be discovered. You just have to learn how to get out of your way to discover the solution. Principle number three, whenever you're confronted with a challenge or a problem of any kind, it's never a matter of managing the situation. It's always a matter of how you manage your mind. Can you manage your mind and the thoughts, the beliefs and the emotions that are keeping you from finding the solution that's waiting to be discovered? And one common sense success strategy that can help you to manage your mind 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year is for you to unleash the power of your humor being on a daily basis. Every one of you has a humor being within you. As a matter of fact, I believe everyone on this planet is born with a humor being within them. Unfortunately, most people go their entire lives never knowing they have this power, let alone how to tap into it and make it work for them. Your humor being, folks, is of your higher self. It is the part of you that brings out the best in you when times get really tough. What your human being can give you more than anything else is peace of mind and emotional stability. I did stand-up comedy for over 20 years, and I headlined comedy clubs, theaters, and colleges throughout the country. And I'm not saying this to impress you, but only to impress upon you that every time I was on that stage, I was well aware that there were people in the audience experiencing challenging times of some kind. Maybe they were going through a divorce, maybe they were having financial difficulties, maybe they or a loved one were inflicted with some kind of illness. But for those few moments, when I was on that stage, their problems, their challenges, whatever they were, didn't own them. Why? Because they simply allowed themselves to take time out to laugh. Laughter is the pit stop in the rat race of life and that it gives you enough emotional fuel and repairs to get back into the race again. But the initiative and the proficiency by which we allow ourselves to laugh comes from what I call your humor being. Laughter is one of the greatest gifts that was ever given to us. What good is a gift if you don't open it and you don't use it? And that's the word according to Bob.